Have you ever seen a license plate that you didn't understand? Well, so have we. From Rixie, this is Road Decoder. A show about decoding hard to understand vanity plates that you see on your commute. I'm Hannah Weber. And I'm Andy Azdani. Hey guys, Road Decoder is a show with colorful language. In other words, we do curse. It may not be suitable for all audiences. Welcome back. Hey. Are you back again. We picked a card out of the stack. Tell me the number of that card. It's the seventh carp. Seventh heaven. Okay, lucky number seven. All right, so go ahead and open it up. Okay. This is for all you ASMR freaks. Ooh. I'm getting the tingles. There you go. Okay. So this one is N. O W O R I Z. All right. Okay. Let me pull up the photo here and I can tell you more about this image. For all the your all the, the listeners out there, Mason has clearly written this license plate on Sharpie with a Sharpie. On Sharpie. And, as well as with a label maker, but with those old those old school plastic with the punched letters. Labor, label maker, um, but the O is missing, so he wrote it in with a little pointer. It's pretty funny looking. Okay. I'd like you to guess the make and the model. You want to go first? You you go first. Okay. Uh, is it, can, I, can I ask a few questions? You can ask as many as you want. Okay. Was this a uh, automatic or a manual vehicle? <laughs> That is way too specific. Listen, you're telling me you did not drive by and peer into this man's driver's side window? You know, I, man or woman, I'm sorry. I had I known, had I known that that was a question that was going to be asked, I absolutely would have. Okay. But as far as I know, I would guess that it's an automatic vehicle. Okay, that's a safe bet. Was it a sports car? It was not a sports car. This is 21 uh. questions. Was it a sports utility vehicle? <laughs> Um, I could not pick that out uh, in a lineup, so I have no idea. Okay. Also, also better known as an SUV. Technically, uh, this is, I would say this is considered in the uh, SUV family. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Uh, oh, in the SUV family. So. Um, not a van. Not like, a, not it a, is not, not a, a van. It is, we, we have uh, moved past the minivan stage. Okay, great. Great. Um, is it a Ford Explorer? It is not. Or a, or a Tacoma? <laughs> give, me a, give me a guess on the color. Oh, I feel like this dude is like, I want to say black, but he seems like really like a, like a neon blue or neon green or hot red. I'm going to go with blue. I think those are great guesses. The color of the car is gray. <laughs> okay. All right. God, this person's big. These people. Pick. These I'm people. Gonna, it, it, God. I. Well, when you say it's gray, I'm just like, damn. This is like just a Camry. <laughs> well, I mean, they could they could be a priest in the streets. No. Yeah. A priest in the streets. I like that. No the worries streets. there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh, give me your gi- give me one guess each on the make and model. Uh, okay, so you said it's not a Explorer or a Tacoma. It is not. But an SUV type. Is it an uh, an American made vehicle? Very American. Okay. Uh, as American, just about as it gets. I th- I think it's in the top three. Oh. Top three? Not even top two? <laughs> Maybe the top two, depending on how you look at it. So it, but is it not a Ford? It is not a Ford. Okay, so a Chevy. It is not a Chevy. It's a Tesla. <laughs> it is not a Tesla. Fuck. Oh, American made. What God, I don't, I don't really know my American made okay. cars very well. Um, why, why am I blanking on this? American made. American made. As and American it's not a as Ford it gets. And a Chevrolet or Tesla. It's American. I mean, I'm thinking Model T, but I don't see one of those rolling down. <laughs> I wish it were a Model T. Yeah. 
Okay, best guess. Give it to me. One, uh, both of you. It's not a truck. Uh, SUV family, right? It's it, SUV. It's, okay. Uh, 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 oh. Land is it a Rover? Hummer? It is not a God, I wish it was a God Hummer. <laughs> That's a great guess, but Land I... Land Rover? It is, not, it is neither. I, is Land Rover American? I don't know. I feel like it's British. I feel like I it's probably so. British, too. Okay. Is the, are those your best guesses? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. For give me, me. Give me the first letter. Yeah. Or the last letter. Last letter. <laughs> and I will not do that. <laughs> all right, all right. Fuck. Just, just tell us. The make of the car is a Jeep. That's American? That uh, is as American as it gets. Is the Jeeps. Uh, oh, was it German? No, I, I thought it's it, a World War II. The, the American made uh, like for for World War World War One and Two the 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 army jeep. Is this a jeep jeep like a Wrangler? If I just butchered that, I'm sorry. I'm straight up sorry. Right, I, we're not, I was we're not fact checking. Is I was sure that was an American made car. Wrangler, Cherokee, Grand Cherokee. This is uh, a Grand Cherokee. Oh, what a lame car! Trailhawk. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's special edition. Look special dish. Damn, you know your Jeeps, my dude. <laughs> okay. Now, I will say, uh, there is one sticker, but it is very hard for me to make out. Um, but I have a guess as to what it is. I don't know if it will help you, right. but I have a guess as to what it is based on the shape. Anything else? The, every uh, There is only one sticker. Okay. Um, is it is it like your classic bumper sticker or like a circle? It's a it's a decal uh, window sticker. Decal it's window not sticker. The stick figure family. It's not the Apple. Uh, it is neither of those. Um, the license plate is a Virginia plate. Uh, it has uh, no border plate on it. Um, nice. It looks like their tags are updated. Uh, it it Dri seems, driving legally. Good. It seems to be an Ohio State sticker. Oh. Now I don't know if that helps you, but. From what I see, that is what it looks like. I could be wrong, but the shape of the middle of the decal looks eerily like an Ohio State sticker. Okay. Okay, Doug. Ohio Bye. State uh, University. Right. Basic. Very basic. Sorry, guys, who went to Ohio State. I respect you. And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> All right. So, with that information, do you have any other questions? I'm good. Do you, do you have any other tidbits of information about the driver? Uh, did they have specialized rims? Uh, extended tailpipes? Did they have an extra wheel? Uh, this is not a vehicle with an extra wheel. Was there a snorkel? They, <laughs> they, uh, the time of day was uh, golden hour, so probably about 6 o'clock. Okay. Um, the uh, rims seem to be stock, but they are a little bit larger than... Uh, than I've seen before. Maybe maybe an 18-inch rim. Okay. Uh, so Ohio State. Uh, very Ohio State. <laughs> yeah. um, but other than that, rather nondescript. Okay. All okay. Right. What's wrong with it? Okay. You guys have five minutes. Got I'll it. see you after that. All right, Nathan, why did you start this? You came to me with the idea of a food podcast, and not from any planning. It came from we booked a guest and sat down, and you were like, do you have any idea what you're doing? And I started talking. From Rixie, I'm Nathan Rebus, and this is Butter. I've been a professional cook for three years. This is a show where we talk to chefs, restaurateurs, and others about how they ended up where they are today. From Rixie, this is Butter. The fourth podcast from Rixie, premiering March 2nd. Listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. After another six minutes, we're back. A tintillating six minutes. Tintillating. Uh, I think Hannah went first last time so andy's gonna go first okay here's what i got i'm gonna go with the you know the obvious no worries to start okay <laughs> that you know that's safe to assume so it's you know i'd say it was a carefree driver maybe a little reckless Ooh. from ohio state Ooh. 
Maybe a little transplant. Don't know how the roads work around here. Who knows? But here's my here's my shot in the dark. Ohio State sticker. Now O rise. Oh, the wow. O rise. Now O rise. Hannah, he's getting points for that. God you damn. Know, you gotta you gotta look between those letters. Now the O rise. Maybe they thought they were a little stepped on. Maybe they heard me say something before about Ohio State. They're like, okay, <laughs> they we need to ya. we need to set the record straight. Now the O will rise. Go Buckeyes. He's gonna get five imaginary points for that one. I'll take it. <laughs> Love that. All well, right, Hannah. I was Bring also I was also thinking no worries. Uh, I mean, I might have dropped that earlier. I mean, you're in D.C., man. D.C.'s got, like, a shit ton of traffic. I mean, like... That's a lot of worry. You got to... You got to step it up with the license plate and just have a little giggle while you're sitting in traffic, you know? Got to just have no worries on the road. Let them know. Let them know that you're here. And, and you're guess not what? You might be late to work, but no worries. Oh. Everybody's late to work because it's D.C. And the roads are shit most of the time. Let's get another job. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was also thinking, like, Maybe this dude likes to go outdoors. He's got no worries. Mm-hmm. That's why you have a gray car. You kind of just kind of blend in, blend in with nature, blend in with traffic. There you go. Um, yeah. And uh, I mean, another drop in, mm-hmm. we could say nowhere is. Oh. Hmm. Nowhere I don't know is. what that means, but I like it. Nowhere, nowhere is. is. Where is nowhere? Where is the where? And guess what? No worries. We don't need to know yeah. where nowhere is. Yeah. Nowhere. Have a, you know, he could be a little, or he or she could be a little uh, philosopher. Yeah, think about it. If they're a philosophy major, maybe that's why they have no worries. Hopefully. They should have worries, but yeah, philosophically, no worries. Hopefully these questions are um, not taking away from them driving on the road while they're thinking. Right. So, you can do both at once. You can do both at once, but pay attention, you know, yeah. 10 and 2. Please do. 10 and 2. I like that. Um, I want to I want to say that when I first read this, it was not until last night that I figured out that it said no worries. Oh my mm. gosh, Mason. Oh my god. I took this photo got. about 3 weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that it said now or is. <laughs> Now or is? Yo, that was oh, one of my. I like that. that was actually one of my things. I said I wrote now or is, and I was like, I, I mean, coming back to the philosopher kind of thing. And you know, I really thought that I was gonna stump you guys with that one because I was stumped for so, so long. But you know, it works. That's like one of those little, uh, little phrases that you come up with. You could hear that on a on a Gary V stage show if he gets up there and he's like, "Now or is now?" And you're or gonna think is. about it. You're gonna think about it. I thought I had it. I was like, "Yeah, that's definitely what it says." Yeah, because now or is which one is it? Is it now? I'll take ten. Or <laughs> is it now? No, but uh, I. Uh, for, for, well, first of all, when I when I drove up behind this car, I thought that it was a twelve. Instead of a Z, because the photo oh. kind of makes it look like a two. Yeah, I could see that. So, originally I thought it was now or twelve, and I don't even know what that means. So, I mean, but I looked closely 12. in the photo, and it's a, it's very, very clearly a Z. Mm. So, my best guess was now or is now or up is. until about ten o'clock last night. <laughs> So well done, Mason. Hats off right. to you guys. Plate deciphered. <laughs> Plate deciphered. Boom. Ding. I think. Uh, I, 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 who won this one, guys? I feel like it was a. I think it's a split. I think it's a split. I think it's a split too. I think you guys both had great answers. Very good. Both houses. Both houses take the cup. All right. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Later. Bye. Road Decoder is a production of Rixie, hosted by me, Hannah Weber, and Andy Yazdani. Produced, edited, and mixed by myself and Mason Carlton. 
Special thanks to Mike D, Danny House for eating our za, Maddie Lemelin, and PWR Studios. Thanks for listening. See you next time.